To get started with my quick and easy cornbread, I am going to be using one cup of yellow cornmeal, and I'll also be using one cup of all-purpose flour. I've already added them to my mixing bowl. Next, I will be using one and one quarter cup of whole milk. I'll also be using three tablespoons of melted unsalted butter, one room temperature large egg, one and a half teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, and I'll also be using a third cup of sugar. Now, the sugar and salt content in this recipe, you can adjust to your preference if you want it less salty or if you want it sweeter. Be sure to check the description below this video for all the ingredients and measurements used in this recipe. Okay, so now I am going to combine all of my dry ingredients and give it a good mix. Okay, so once all of those ingredients are mixed well, I'm going to start adding the other ingredients. Now, I know when making things like cake batter, it's suggested to cream together all the wet ingredients, but I find when I'm making cornbread, it's not necessary, but definitely do what works for you. I also want to mention that you could also add a little bit of brown sugar and combine it with the, the regular white sugar, and you can sub the melted butter for oil if you like, and also for the whole milk, you can substitute it with buttermilk. I like doing that when I have buttermilk on hand, but today I'm just using whole milk. Okay, so I'm just going to mix this until everything is combined well. And if you're not actually weighing your ingredients and you find that it's still too thick, you can add a little bit of milk until you reach the consistency that you want with the batter. Alrighty, I am preheating my oven, but I'm also preheated this cast iron skillet. I am going to add five tablespoons of butter. Basically, in this whole recipe, I'm using one stick of butter, which is a half cup of butter or four ounces of butter. So the remaining tablespoons of butter are going into my cast iron skillet. This is um, actually, to be honest, I'm not sure if this is an eight or nine inch cast iron skillet. I bought this at an estate sale, but if you're using a baking pan, an eight or nine inch baking pan will work. So I'm pouring my batter in the preheated cast iron skillet with the melted butter. And then once I'm done scraping out all the contents of my mixing bowl, I am going to put this in a preheated oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and cook it for somewhere between 18 to 20 minutes. Okay, and it has been 18 minutes, so I'm going to remove my cornbread and it smells so good. So I wanted to show you how golden and crispy these edges get when making this in a cast iron skillet with that butter. It is so delicious. If you get the opportunity or have a cast iron skillet this size, I definitely suggest you try it this way. So I'm serving this alongside red beans and rice today. Be on the lookout for that recipe. I'll link it below this video. So I just want to show you the underside of this and how beautifully golden brown the crust is on this cornbread. It is so delicious. And in my opinion, this cornbread recipe is the perfect balance between salty and sweet. It's not overly sweet, it's not overly salty, and it goes great with a cup of coffee or served with a savory entree. So I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.